Here's my little girl, green. Okay, thank you. Um, Miss Lady Candace? Yes, yes. Please do not have a seat. Um, I need to Matra! Matra! You! You killed him! You murdered him! You killed him! You killed him! You killed him! You lied! You killed him! 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 Can you tell us why you attacked Mr. Harry Johnson right inside his office? Young lady, can't you speak? Look here, I do advise you not to waste our time here. He killed him. He murdered him in cold blood. He killed him. I am innocent. You have to believe me. I am innocent. He killed him. Who killed who? He killed him. I have been looking for him everywhere, and now that I am found him, I will kill him myself. Look here, do you realize that you are before the law? Are you insane? Huh? Do you know you could be charged with attempted murder? Then he killed him. He has to die. You cannot let him leave. He killed him. Now, oh, young lady, what are you talking about? Then he killed him. What happened at that office today? There I was hurrying to come and relate the drama to you that took place at the office today. I should have guessed you, you heard everything. Will you stop being amusing and flippant, son? Is it true what transpired at the office today? That a mad girl came after you, threatening to kill you? Yes, Dad. She was one of the applicants. One of the applicants I was supposed to interview. So fortunate, uh, her interview didn't just go down well, obviously. My goodness. Can you believe such an infantry? She's so lucky that I was not around. Oh, God helped her. I would have slapped sanity back into her. Well, Dad, I guess your slap wouldn't have had any effect because she was really determined in an insane and vengeful manner. Good God! Is there anything one cannot hear in this country? Where is the said girl now? She's uh, safely in the police custody. Very well. But I am not satisfied with that. I am going to call the police and I will make sure she's locked away in a madhouse for good. What nonsense. Not that. I honestly don't think that would be the best thing for us to do. What? What are you saying, sir? Don't tell me you are considering her welfare. Come on, son. She, she attacked you? Yes, Dad, she attacked me. But you weren't there to see her face. She, she had this look of anguish and torment on her face. Not rage. Not sorrow, Dad. Dad. No. She believed I am the murderer she's long been looking for. What are you saying? Have you killed somebody before? Come on, Dad. I can't kill anybody. You know I can't hurt a fly. I can't kill anybody, Dad. But the thing is, I think she's mistaking me for someone. 
And the question is, who could that be? Are you serious over what you've told me? I swear to you, Bill. I swear to you. You need to see who the hospital charged at me. Pinching, blows, bites, screaming on the top of her voice that I killed him and she's gonna kill me too. Jesus Christ. She crazy or something? I don't know, I don't know. But what I don't know is that she had this haunted look on her face. Look at her. I can never forget. But again, she looks pitiful. Tell me about your worst scary movie. Are you telling me? Okay, I'm telling you because I know some people have passed through the same thing you've passed through and ended up in a more dangerous way. But you need not to tell me. Jesus Christ. I mean, all these crazy girls parades in the house. I wonder, where is she right now? In the police custody. Yeah, which is where I need you to escort me. <laughs> you want me to escort you to the police custody? Maybe. Yeah. You guys see this wacko? Yeah. Oh my god, you're joking, man. Maybe, but. Are you joking? I can do that. You, you, you're coming with me. Like, listen, listen, Harry, this is not a good idea. Going there is not a good idea. No, just listen to me. It's a police case, okay? I have to clear myself concerning the allegation of murder. Alright? What well, is fine? Are you coming with me or not? It's okay, fine, fine. Let me just go in, change to something. I'll back in the five, okay? Mr. Harry, tell me, how did you meet this girl? And what do you have to do with her? Miss Lily Daniels wrote an application to my friend and when I saw it I was impressed by her CV so I asked her to come over to my office for an interview and then she walked into my office I welcomed her put a smile on my face I asked her to sit down I actually expected a reciprocation. Instead, what I got was a rush at me, slaps, punch, bites, scattering of my office, screaming at the top of her voice that I killed him and she's gonna kill me. And it went on for some time till my secretary walked in my office. Then she called uh, the security came to my rescue. That's just it. For what you have just said now, that was the first day you met her, yes? Precisely. Uh, from all indications, it appears the young girl has mental disorder, so we decided to take her to the psychiatry. You see, GPU, I really think this is what I've been trying to suggest because this girl in question here is mentally sick. Yes. DBO, just do whatever is right. Yeah. We need any information we can get from you on how to get to the family or anybody close to her. Since she refused to let us know. Um, well, uh, to be honest with you, I don't have such information at hand right now. But I promise you, I'll make sure I get some reasonable information from her credentials. I will appreciate that. Okay. Don't 
Thanks. Well, if nothing else to say, uh, I'll take it on the left. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you, sir. She practically jumped on us. Us. Us! No, you. Listen, Harry. I really think this girl has George's mind against me. Wait a minute. Do you know her something? Yeah, right. Why don't you just ask me if I didn't commit murder to you? Come on now. You're my friend. Okay? It's not safe if I'm call you about you. You can't even hard to fly. But this girl's case, man, I'm really confused. Call her punish. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> because from the look of things, it's more like you're thinking it's just one of my old flips. Just not. Oh, Jesus, thank you. What a relief. The thing is, I just can't help Feeling sorry for this girl. She looks so innocent, yet so violent. I don't know why is that. I don't know what has happened. I think it's okay. All right. Listen to me. I want you to forget about this girl. Just forget everything about her. She's better off than after taking her too. Okay? This girl is mad. She's a psycho. Hello. You really think so? I know so. Huh? Oh, come on. Let me get you something to chill out. A drink or two. There's nothing wrong with me. I am not crazy. There's nothing wrong with me. I swear. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Don't tell me I'm crazy. Stop. Do your job. Don't listen to her. You will be fine. Relax. 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 So you are the young man my patient attacked in his office? Yes, I am. I'm actually here to see how she's doing. Well, she's been placed on sedative because of her constant outbursts. And so far, so good. Okay. Um, Mr. Harry, please forgive me if I'm prying. Why are you here? Why are you following this? Young lady, why do you have so much interest in her? What impression should have you getting as far away from her as possible? Well, uh, Doc, I can't really place my fingers on it. Let's just say I empathize with her. I would love to help her, including paying for medical bills for the duration of her stay in this hospital. Well, I would also appreciate it, Mr. Harry, if you help us look at our family. Doctor, I, I've just promised to take care of our hospital bills and every other thing. So why bother about our family? You don't get it, Mr. Harry. The fact is that I do not want to take laws into my hands. Okay. I'll do my best. Let's see if I can get across to anybody who knows her. That'll be fine. Doctor, let me ask you a question. What is the cause of a mental state? Well, I cannot be precise now. And that is why I want to see her family. I want to know her history. Okay. Can you just tell me, generally speaking, what causes madness? Wow. It's a broad question. Madness, Mr. Harry, can be caused by a number of factors. It could be biological, it could be physiological, it could be environmental, it could
could be psychological. Okay, so what do you think about her case? Well, for her case, I am not certain for now. I have to diagnose her before I can reach a conclusion. Doctor, uh, do you think diagnosing her would be a problem? How? She's really, really violent. Wow, why not? Okay, before I take my leave, can I just see her like for a second? Why not? That's why now that she's like I still have to see her. Come on. Harry? Yes. Uh, you, you don't know me. I'm, I'm actually calling in regards of your friend, uh, sister, somebody, I don't know. Her name is Nelly. What have you done to her? Where is Nelly? Just, just calm down, okay? Just calm down. Not, nothing has happened to her. She's fine. Just that she, she needs you. She needs a family member. Somebody. Okay, okay, okay. But well, who are you? She's been missing for the past two days. Where can I find you? Fine, I. I can give you a direction of where to reach me. Wait, I'll answer. Say, okay, Alright. Thank you. I'll be there now. See, yeah, okay, I'll come right together. Uh, hi, you must be Harry, right? Yes, uh, I'm you, Jane. Jane. Uh, nice to Thank you. Uh, where is she? She's, um, she's in a psychiatric hospital. Psychiatric what? Yeah. Hospital? Yeah. Okay, can I see her now? Uh, fine, fine. Don't wait. Can you give us an insight into who Nelly, your friend, really is? Nelly is a very sweet girl. She's nice and she's compassionate, intelligent. Though she doesn't talk much, she she has this constant mood swings. Sometimes she's. I mean, this minute she's laughing, the next minute she's crying. Sometimes she just struggles with both. How do you mean? She laughs and cries at the same time. Has she ever told you of any sexual assault on her? No, no. What about the death of a loved one? No. Uh, she... she... No. She... She has this constant... Nightmare. You know, she never talks about it. She just wakes up in the middle of the night screaming, I didn't kill him, I didn't kill him. She breaks down, she starts crying. Just like that. Does she keep friends? Except me, you know. What about her parents? What? She's an orphan. An orphan? Have you noticed this violence now? 
Valens. No. Though she gets sad sometimes. Really sad. She starts scratching on the ground. Acting really funny. But with people, she's gentle, subtle. And she hasn't told you anything, not even about the girlfriend. No, no, never. Thanks for it. And I think from what you just said, she's a traumatic patient. Mere psychosis is not serious. And nonetheless, as soon as she wakes up, I will diagnose her and give the necessary treatment. Thank you very much, Doctor. Right. You will excuse me now. Um, I'll have to attend to my other patients. Okay, can I go back to her now? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I look behind me, I see danger. I feel in my heart. I am groaning and it's coming. How can I save me? I might be. What a mystery. What is really going on? When would this mystery be unfolded? I'm so confused. Poor girl. Would the person responsible for her blight really be whom I think it is? God, what a mess. What a mess. Good about the money. Jane, are you, are you alright? It's God that will punish you for what you've done to her. Come on. I didn't do anything to her, I swear to you. Nelly has never lost her composure outside. What have you done? I did. See, just pray nothing happens to her. Please, 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 please. Stop, Jane. Jane, I did nothing to her, trust me. Jane. Where have you been, son? I've been around. Around where? Around town. You've been between your house, the office, and the psychiatry. How did you get to know that, Dad? I know. I know you know, but someone must have told you about my presence at the psychiatry. Well, let's just say that the young lady's doctor, Dr. Donald, has been feeding me on the situation. Oh. 
So you know him? Of course. He's a friend. Yeah, I see. It's good. Well, son, how come your unusual visit to the psychiatric? Is there something that you are not telling me? No, there is no story to tell. But you've been visiting her. Yeah. Yeah, I have, but I guess it's not a crime. Don't tell me that you are interested in an insane young girl. Dad, she's traumatic. She's lonely. She's unhappy. She needs a friend. And you want to be her friend? Precisely. You are mad too. You are insane. And that girl is a fool. So who, who exactly is a fool? Insanity is an enemy to sanity. Therefore, that girl is a fool. That she's not insane, I'm telling you. Well, the DPO said that she's insane. And you and I agree that her actions at your office was that of a mentally deranged person. Agreed, Dad. Agreed. But that's not the doctor's opinion. Didn't he tell you that too? Listen, Dad. Uh, I gave you details later today. As so now, I'm famished. Do you have something inside to eat? Well, there is food in the oven. The chef is not around. He went on an errand. This is strange. It is quite unusual. Are you sure she's not going to come back? No, no, not at all. Then maybe you've administered an overdose of medication. No, that girl was right. Then why hasn't she woken up? She woke up. It's been like, come. She. What do I have been doing? She's not! She's not! Yes, she did. And I believe her. You're not crazy. Yes, yeah, you're not crazy, okay? about your dreams and nightmares. You see, like you said before, you are not insane. The only problem is the secrecy you are surrounding yourself with. The problem she had is half resolved. Let it out. And you see, anomalies will return. But I... I can see it because of today. Call on me when you need me. I am Dr. Donald. Okay, Mr. Johnson. Everything is okay. It's under control. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yes, come in. Mm -hmm. 
Good evening, Doctor. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Harry. Sit down. Sorry. You have been discharged. I know. You do know already. Yes, I do. So, how much is my bill? My bill? Yeah. I don't think it's necessary for now. Have you ever had an unpleasant encounter with Nelly and Vera's hotel? Doctor, I have never met Nelly before the day she came to my office. You know why I ask? Why? That girl only gets violent when she sees you. And that implies that you are the cause of her problem. Perhaps you may have knowingly or knowingly hurt her or her loved one. Doctor, I have not even heard her fly. As for Nelly, I've never met her before. Never. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, fine. You don't believe me? You think I'm lying? Fine. Okay, just fine. You can think whatever you want to think. I just don't care anymore. Hey, listen. Here. Yeah. I'm sure that's enough to take care of your bills. Excuse me. Nobody believes me. about this Nelly girl. I thought her case must have been closed by now. I'm not hung up over anybody. Is it wrong for me to be a friend with a harmless girl? Did you hear a suspect? This is a girl who called you a murderer. A girl who fought you, who wanted to kill you. The thing is, you and I know that I'm not a murderer. She must have mistook me for someone else. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that she was too cool for you and then you that killed him? Don't even go there, Bill. You know it's not possible. The dead can't walk. I'm still wondering why you're still obsessed with this girl. That's what I don't know. I just, I just feel a sense of guilt that I'm responsible for what she's going through. And I want to help her. To give her comfort. Are you trying to tell me that she mistook you for your twin brother, Barry, who died three years ago? And why the sudden change of comfort and guilt? Well, let's just say my instincts never lied to me before. Oh, Jesus Christ. My instincts are telling me that I need to help her. Come. Besides, I've grown to like her. Oh, shit. Jesus, there he goes again. Harry, what is wrong with you? Harry, what is wrong with you? This is not you. I'm fine. You are not fine. I'm really saying something is wrong with you. No, I'm fine. Jesus Christ. This is a girl who fought you. Who called you a murderer. I can't believe it. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Drinking again. Mm -hmm. You can't join. Oh, I forgot. You can't. Not in your condition. <laughs> oh, 
So you think the solution lies in this year? How come? Yeah, so this shit makes me happy. Very happy. You know, I just drink and I go to sleep. You know? Yes. Your alcohol is now your source of happiness, right? Kinda. Yeah. See, I've told you before. Share your problems with me. And be free. You can't continue like this. Oh. Jen, it's not that easy. And you won't understand. Just forget about it. It's it's so painful to share with you. Just drink. Try me. I said Evil. Evil! What's wrong? You, you. What are you doing here? Are you out of your mind? Why would you come here? Hmm? I, I actually stopped by to see how she's doing. I just, that's what I brought these things for her. No, just, just, it, just go. go, go. Somewhere and I do not have time for the likes of you. That's too rude, baby Get girl. Them. Come on, show some respect here. What's wrong with you? Get out of me. Let her go, boots baby. Go. Ooh, oh, how are you, pretty angel? Come on, Chara. Oh, I don't mind. Please, I have somewhere I'm headed. Could you step out of my way, please? Hey, How dare you? No one dares walk out of me. Come on, young man, mind what's going on here. Why don't you have your hold here? Yes, come on, that's an insult. If it's an insult, what will you do? Um, honey, you know what? Let's just go, okay? You cannot afford to announce someone. Let's provoke you. And if a deserve to stay, what will you Why will you talk to him? You no. know him. Get out of that way. It's okay. Let go, okay? Let go! Listen, I see you screaming for a fight. I don't have to do that with you. Why must I fight over what belongs to me? As you can see, 
be a woman. Why can't you go and look for your time? Exactly. Huh? Or can go to hell? It's now. Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Franklin and I breathed a sigh of relief as Pharaoh and his friends were bundled into the house van. Because the same day, Pharaoh was rusticated based on the evidence Franklin gathered against him as a cultist. But for revenge, we ought to have known. that that was the end of Pharaoh's harassment. It was only the beginning. <laughs> he stalked us. Everywhere we went. He was there. Every turn. We would see him. And at every event. It got so bad. But frankly, had to confront him. He called the police. Yeah, who is that? Who? Who? Please, please, please. 
Really? Really? 
Do you know this is the first time in three years that you've slept peacefully without a battery? Honestly, you're correct, you're right. Do you know, I feel, I feel very light. Like, there's some very heavy weights that's been taken off my shoulder. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> and you look happy too. I am happy. So, um, do you still believe Harry murdered Frank? Yes. That man killed Franklin. Mother. The murderer of my love. <sighs> See, this is so, so unbelievable. How can someone who looks so innocent turn out to be a murderer? Maybe he just looks like the real murderer of Franklin. Yeah. I know exactly what I am saying. I know that two people do look alike. I know that even twins are often identical. But I also know that no matter how much people look alike, there is always a difference. That man. That is the Pharaoh that killed my Franklin destroyed my life. Adi, he has to pay. He has to pay with his own coins. Slow down, okay? The journey of a lifetime begins with a step. And you've taken the first one, which is the most important one. And that is sharing your problems with me. But henceforth, Every decision you have to take has to be considered critically so that you don't take laws into your hands. He killed my love. He destroyed my life. He ruined my emotions. He took everything away from me. He has no pain. But his life was so, oh, 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 okay, okay. See, see. Remember, you said you don't even have an evidence. And you told me he, he took a picture. The murderer took a picture uh, uh, with a bloodstained knife. A picture of you with Franklin's cops. Man, if you try anything stupid, man, you're going down with the law. Don't just stop thinking that. Man. Why? 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 Why can I bring him back in his own college? Why? 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 Stop! Stop! Why can I bring him back? Stop! 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 Why? Because I got an animation in 
Leeds University and uh, the UK. Okay. So while you were schooling in the UK, did you ever come back to Nigeria? Yes, I did. Yeah. When was that? Ah, uh, that was uh, some 11 months now. I meant before that 11 months ago, while you were schooling in the UK, did you come back to Nigeria for any reason? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was uh, some three years ago. Three years ago? Yeah, yeah three years ago. Yes, that was when I lost my, my my mother and my only brother. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I've already gotten over it during the bearer. I actually came to console my father, and I left after some days. See, Harry, I have so many questions to ask you. I just don't know where to start. I don't know. Have you ever hurt anybody, a lady or a woman in the past? Yeah. When was that? I, um, that was um, around uh, three years ago when I, I found out that my girlfriend was cheating on me with my best friend. Your girlfriend in Nigeria or in the UK? In the UK. Okay. Yeah. So what did you do? I, I hit her. With what? My Just that? Yeah, just just that. And afterwards, I, um, I I felt ashamed of myself because real men shouldn't beat up women. See, I'm confused. I'm so confused. I don't know. You think? Do you really think I'm a murderer? <sighs> Heaven knows I'm innocent. I've never shed blood. Yeah, you look innocent, but Nelly's convinced you murdered someone really, really gentle. Fine. Let, let me let me find out something from you. I really want to know. Who was the person that was killed? Was it her father, mother, brother, or any woman? None of the above. Was her lover, her boyfriend. He meant everything to her. He was her world. Oh, Nelly. My greatest wish is that for Nelly to believe, or rather see through me that I'm not guilty. I'm not I'm not guilty for what she thinks I am. But how can I do that when you here don't even believe me? See, Harry, I believe you. But it's not about me. The problem is, how do I convince Nelly that you are innocent? How do I convince her that you are not the murderer of Franklin? Yeah, Franklin is her lead boyfriend. Honestly, I really don't know what to say. Uh, only God will see the heart. I don't know what to say. <sighs> I don't know myself. I guess I'll just talk to her. And hopefully, she'll see reasons. I don't know. Please, please, I beg you. Just try all you can and talk to her. Make her to see a reason that I'm innocent. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not responsible for the death of, of Franklin or whatever person. I'm innocent. I'll try. Please do, okay? Please do, and you'll forever have a very grateful friend. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, can I put in for something for us? No, no. I'm hungry. I've got to go. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, same here.
to your own salad. Go help yourself. Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, I'm not really hungry. I see. Well, that must have been because you went out and had all the fun and forgot that you were supposed to be gracious enough to at least bring me a pack of takeaway. See how you are. I did not enjoy me per se. Yeah. So, what was it? I know you're not going to like this, but you have to hear me out. You're listening. It's nothing serious. I just have to talk to you about somebody. Who? Could that be? Harry. I'm all ears. Okay, I I spoke with him today and no, 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 let me rephrase that language. What you're trying to tell me is that you have been talking to Harry and you have been seeing him behind my back. Look, how could you do something like this? No, that's the wrong perception. There is no perception! You were supposed to be my best friend! Jane, how could you stop me? I'm my scum! Calm down, it's not what you think. Shia, what is the fucking rap? You have become a friend to my enemy. That's what you have done. Calm down, that's a wrong perception. I spoke to him, fine, but there's no sentiment. How could you? See, and this is a wrong perception. No wrong perception. You are supposed to be my friend, for Christ's sake! My best friend! How could you stab me on my scar? Look, look, I've done no such thing. Everything I've done is for your own good. See, I have to tell you the truth. The truth? Yes. Okay, so tell me, what is the truth? Harry is not a murderer. He couldn't have murdered Franklin. There must be a mix-up somewhere. You have to become a friend! <laughs> You're certain that it was having Barry that committed the crime. I'm very certain that, very certain. According to what Mary's friend told me, that the murder was committed some three years back. I don't understand what, what could have possibly driven him to go and kill someone. God, Barry, even in death, his death and corrupt life continues to haunt us. I really don't understand right now. I'm so much disappointed and angry with my brother right now. So much disappointed in him. Who knows? That could have possibly been his last death before he left campus. Sadly enough, no one know what really drove Barry into this. <laughs> now he's dead. All we need to do is try and make reparations. For his crime. That they think is that there's something you need to understand. Not so much. I like Ellie. And I'm trying as much as possible to make sure that she she falls for me.
again. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for what happened. I don't know what came over me. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt you. Well, how could you not trust me? After all these years of living together, how could you conceive such evil in your heart against me? To the extent you want to kill me. How could you say that? I would never do anything like that, Jane. Honestly, I don't even know what came over me. Please, Jane. If every, anything goes wrong in this friendship, you know I have nobody else. Where will I go to? You are like my friend. You are my sister. You're my mother, you are, you're everything to me. I have no one else. I would never deliberately hurt you, Jane. I just, no matter what happens, I promise you that I would never ever try something like that again. I really am sorry, but I need you to forgive me, please. I just wanted to see you happy again. And that's why I stood by you all this while. Well, unfortunately for me, I was on this chair. See, I went to see Harry because I know I'll be more reasonable in talking to him than you will ever be. I don't know what came over me. Just, just a mere dialogue with you turned into a murder attempt. No, we can't live like this. We can't live like this. Listen now. Listen. 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 It will not happen again. I promise you now. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to do this. I'm, I don't know what happened. Look, it would never happen again, Jane. Please, just let this go, please. Jane, I'm sorry. Sorry. You said you wanted to see me. Yes, I did. And the reason is, as regards to your friend, Nelly. What about her? I've been thinking. Uh, were you able to speak to her? When See, Harry, tell me the truth. What's your interest? It's obvious you didn't commit the crime she accused you of, so why can't you move on with your life? So you haven't guessed yet? I just want to hear it from you. Maybe, I don't know, you might be getting the wrong signal. See, I like your friend. I like your friend very much. She's a beautiful girl. <laughs> oh, really? So, please, can you help me talk to her? Please. to face the fact that Jane doesn't want to stand by me in fighting a man who shattered my life and emotions. But what makes her think that man is innocent? Or perhaps she thinks I'm trying to frame somebody up. I know for sure that 
that God forsaken man murdered Franklin and made me shut my mouth on the duress for fear I may implicate myself. He was wicked. He should pay for it. I've heard so many times that vengeance is the Lord's, but this time the Lord has given my enemy into my hands. But how do I act, considering the fact that he has evidence against me? I have to take it slow and steady. Maybe pretending to be in love with him, or rather giving him a chance to speak with me will make him relax and then erase all suspicions. Then secretly, I'd let him feel the pain of death like he made my love feel. Yes, yes Nelly, act slowly with discernment. There is um, something I want to talk to you about. Mm. What is it? It's about um, that guy, um, Harry. I've been thinking about all that you said about him, and I, I, I think that I'm, I'm ready to hear him out. Okay. Um... I don't want you to have this impression that I'm trying to force Harry on you. It's far from that. The truth is, I just want you to be sure. You know, when you get close to him, maybe you can tell the difference, maybe in the physical appearance, or maybe the voice, or just hear him out. If he's really the murderer of Frank, your heart will tell you. Thank you. I I really do appreciate this. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, I I do. And trust me, you were the best thing that has happened to me in a very long time. Say it again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what? Mm -hmm. You hungry? I'm starving. The pursuit is coming up. Of course I do. I mean, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Who dropped them? Though? That's true. Who dropped them? I don't know. Whoever it is, they are so, so
do something like this. So what's the problem? <laughs> it's the teddy bear. Okay. It reminds me of Franklin. It was the first gift he gave to me on our first date. A beautiful teddy bear. And I named her Lucy. I'm sure Harry didn't mean to bring back her two memories to me, but he did. He brought it to remind me of Franklin. I'm very sure that you know, this is my Lucy. Well, it could be a new Lucy, but I'm very sure this is not the same Lucy Franklin came to you. How do you mean? It's a new teddy bear, can't you see? It still has a label on it, see? Lost your Franklin and your Lucy, and Harry's giving you a new one, so he means well. Believe me, he does. <laughs> So, what are you still doing here? Have you forgotten about your date? Oh. <laughs> uh, today is Saturday, right? Yes, and Harry is on his way now. Are you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. You said it's on his way, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so, well, what do I do? Go in, get dressed, and wait for him. What else? Yeah. yeah. I'll just go in, get dressed, and wait for him. Okay, okay. So, stand up. Now, go in. Yeah. I am looking at the mirror. It is me I see. Me I see. Me I see. And he's breaking through the window. And it's me again. It's so scary and confusing. Sense of danger. Oh, 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 I understand how you feel. Okay? This is just an adventure for you. So, I advise you to be attentive, listen to your heart, and observe with your third eye. Don't worry, God will help you. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Jane. <laughs> Can you stop, 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 stop. He's waiting for me upstairs. Okay. Just go, I will join you in a minute. Okay. 
the back. Joining you soon. So, how's it been? I promise to give you the best of time. Show me. For you. Ma, you think you can you can you can fool me with your pet talks? No. I can tell who you are. 
The same way you killed him, I will kill you this minute. I told you, you had your time. Let me drop the knife. Don't touch me! Come down! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Evil! Evil! Listen, everybody thinks you are insane. Everybody thinks you are crazy. I'm the only one who believes in you, okay? I just I just want to be your friend. Evil! Don't come close me! Don't come close me! Don't me! First night with a man who shattered me. You are not getting any younger. You know it. Dad, please, don't start again, please. That's all you always say. Hmm? You always forget that you are not just my only son, but my only surviving child. Harry, I need grandchildren from you. Look at that. I've heard you, okay? I'll think about it. Each time I raise this issue, that's all you say. Harry, I'm beginning to get worried about you. This time around, I'll give you some serious thought. Because I perceive that's the only reason you called me down here. Can I go back upstairs and do what I was doing? Excuse me. So how is the old boy doing? He's doing pretty well. Just that he keeps bothering me over the usual topic. Marriage. Exactly. I think it's high time he got married. I mean, you're not getting any younger. Look who's talking. <laughs> the younger ones are long married. They're even having children. Why don't you go and borrow a leaf from them? Well, at least I'm much better than you. I have a very sexy, beautiful girlfriend. A young man. There is a great contract between a girlfriend and a wife. Really? Well, if you ask me, the contrast is not that much. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a wife is a wife. A shorty is not about shorty. Yeah, that reminds me. Hi, is Nelly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Long yeah. Ah. Well, cheese, right? Well, the truth is, uh, it's doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, you've not set your eyes on her since last date. The last date it wasn't an easy one. What do you mean by that? Like I said, it wasn't an easy one, but it was worth it. Hey. Don't smile on your face. Don't tell me my girl has really bad. You kissed her! <laughs> oh, Jesus I Christ! Did, that was so fast, man. I couldn't help it. Ah. Yeah, I couldn't help it. Okay, where do we go from here? You know, the thing is, Mary is unpredictable. But I'm optimistic that our next date will be a better one. Hey, you have better be careful because I don't want to see my boy go through an all repeated love. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now let's watch it. Original thoughts <laughs> coming from the love doctor himself. Are you going there? Are you serious? Oh man. While we can't be together, it is such a shame. The love in my heart.
There's nothing to be confused about. Harry loves you, and you're obviously attracted to him. So if he wants you as much as you want him, why do you shy away from it? Jane, my flesh is so weak, you know, but my heart... See, your heart is beclouded by the memories of the past. You see this comfort I give you, these soothing words I say to you, they are not enough. You need a real man to make you feel like a real woman. And I'm very sure Harry is that real man. Oh gosh. Okay, I am so, I am so uncertain. I mean, like this whole thing this is so confusing. Okay. Okay, what does your heart say about Harry? My heart sees no evil in him. See? As for me, I don't see anything evil in him. All I see is the desire to make you happy. Frankly. Forget about Franklin, girl. It's been three years. Three good years. He's gone. Get a life. See, there's nothing you can do about Franklin right now. Forget about Franklin. It's been three good years. Get a life. Franklin is gone and there's nothing you can do about that. Maybe by the grace of God, one day, We'll find out the real murderers of Franklin. But as for now, if I were you, I will embrace the love Harry has to offer with both arms. <laughs> yeah, serious. This is all your thoughts, okay? This is number one. <laughs> you refuse to give me change. <laughs> Very first time I've seen her laugh from the depth of her heart. <laughs> I'm telling you, Chief. It's a good one, Chief. But I first. So happy Harry came into your life. Seriously. Why do you say that? This is the first time in a long while that I've seen you really, really laugh. Really? Mm -hmm. No, think about it. You don't laugh. I'd like to go inside for a minute. Why? Did I say something wrong? No, no, not at all. I mean, I'm, I think I have a slight headache, so. Yeah, I'll wait for you when you're done. Come inside. Yeah.
Ellie. What's up, baby? No, I was just chatting with Nelly. Yeah. Baby's fine. Everybody's fine. Yeah, I miss you too. Whoa. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> you ain't gay. What do you want? Um, I want to see your boss. No, let this place before I call the police. But, but, yeah. I say go. Leave now. Hey, hey, what's going on? This is what my gay. Oh, let's stop that. I'm so sorry, I should not say there is any major embarrass you. It's okay, please come with me. Bringing back sunshine into my life. It's alright. It's alright.
Dad, I have said this times without number. Neri is not the same. Hey, how do you describe somebody who came into your office and tore you into shreds without a reason at all? Dad, she had her reasons. All those things have been sorted out now. Listen, Harry. Being in company of that girl is suicidal. Consider what your brother did to her. Harry, you have to keep away from that girl. Dad, I think I'm old enough to know what I want. Nelly is a lovely boy and enterprising woman. Besides, Barry's deeds doesn't necessarily have to interfere in what Nelly and I share. Harry, are you trying to tell me that you are having a relationship with that girl? Dad, if you must know, I've gotten a ring already. I propose to her tonight. Now I know that you are out of your mind. I'm, so. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, Dad, but but Nelly and I we found love in ourselves. Please, Dad, all I want is just a support. Have you for once paused to consider the consequences? That girl does not prevent you. That no one is perfect. The most important thing is loving the imperfect one perfectly. Young men and love. Do you know what love means? I'm only trying to let you have everything on your decision. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm afraid I can't. Nettie is the one. I'm sorry. Nelly, there is something I want to say, and if I don't say it, I will regret for the rest of my life. Okay, say it. I want to make an appeal. Okay. An appeal? Yeah. I'm listening. Let me be your father, your brother, your mentor. 
Let me make you happy as long as you live. Let me be your sunshine. Please, Nelly. Harry, I... I don't know if I love you. I know that I'm very happy in your company. I know that with you I find joy. Just don't know if I love you. Nelly, love is all that we need. Believe me, with time, you will love me. Honestly, I must confess, you are far better than what I expected of you. Thank you, sir. I suppose. Um, how about your parents? Um, I'm afraid, sir. I, I don't know them. You mean you don't know your parents? No. I grew up in an orphanage. Oh, sorry, my dear. It's a pity. Now, how did you manage to go to school? Well, um, my uh, orphanage mother saw me through primary and secondary school. And my university education was just a miracle. What a pity. My son said that both of you are getting married. Yeah, he said so. Are you not in support of it? Of course I am, sir. I mean, we, um, we both agreed on it. Now, how do you want the marriage rights to be performed? Um, well, first of all, my um, orphanage mother to be invited and uh, I just like something really small and quiet. Is that how you want it? I'm sorry sir but I'm, I'm not just one who loves a lot of attention. I just, I'd like it as simple as it can be. Harry. Yes sir. Are you comfortable with that? Perfectly, perfectly. I'm okay with it. All I ever want is to have Nelly here by my side. That's what I want. The ceremony doesn't really matter. It's all right. Nelly, you see Harry here is my only surviving child. And I want the best for him. Now, I don't have any other option than to give both of you my blessings. Thank you, sir. See, the best blessings come from God and I am very sure that with him, we will make it. The Almighty God. Bless your decisions. Amen. That's right. Come on, baby. Come. Come on, So, are you serious about his telling me? I know it sounds crazy. But that's the truth. I have fallen in love with her. You mean she's truly the one? Yeah. She is. I 
it's fun being a runner. What thought of how bright it's my day. I can't even imagine leaving without love. <laughs> you see, my friend, you are my very good friend, and anything that makes you happy makes me happy too. If she's truly the one that makes you happy, the brightness of day. So, fine. Go ahead and do what you want. Yeah. Oh. We're getting married. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, come on, man. That's so fast. So fast. Huh? Don't you think so? What are we waiting for? So are you going to tell her? Tell her? You mean, tell her about Barry? Of course. No, no, I can't do that. Telling her about Barry would definitely, obviously, spoil everything. No, we stand in Harry. I think she needs to know the person that killed the boyfriend. What are you talking about, Bill? Are you out of your mind? I'm serious. You know the consequences are going to pass through if this girl finds out about Barry. You know that. There will be no consequence. Do you understand me? Barry is dead and gone. That's fine now. <sighs> well, it's okay. If you say so, why bring the bangers? So tell me, who's gonna be your crew man? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, are you gonna take me out or something? Uh, honestly, I'll take you out for lunch. Of course. That's really well, right? Yeah, uh, something you get to understand first. I declare you husband and wife. Now, you may kiss the bride. of New York doing drugs sleeping in quarters living like a nobody Capo relax you're home now in due time everything will fall in place I'll I'm going to mold things into the shape that I want my brother can sit there Enjoy my father's wealth and allow me to die in anguish. We are both heirs to his empire. As a matter of fact, I'm his first son. Come on. You are home. I'm free now. At least from the cops in New York. Back to your country as a free man. I'm not a free man yet. Someone has got to give me way for me to be a free man. Who, oh, Kapo? My fucking brother. We have to get rid of him. Come on, Kapo. Is there any other way that you can settle this with your brother instead of getting rid of your brother? How dare you talk to me like a fool, damage? Sound as if you are an enemy. Or oh, are you by any way sympathizing with my brother? Come on, Kapo. I'm only concerned about your safety. It's not what you think. Fuck you, damage. I said fuck you. You see, before I decided to leave the streets of New York, I've already laid down my strategies to take back what rightfully belonged to me. My father, my brother, they are not my homings. You are my homings. And if we stick together in this plan, we all will rejoice at the end. Rejoice with me. Listen, Tom. We are your real homies, and you are still our brother. Well, we are confused here because you made us leave South Africa with the promise of goodies. Now and then, all you are telling us is about strategies. 
What strategies are you talking about? Nigga, tell us. What is your assignment? What is the strategy that you have? Well, let's just say I'm tired of walking the streets of New York. I'm tired of doing drugs. I'm back home for good. And I want to revenge. I want to revenge on my homies for treating me wrongly right from my teens. I want to take over my father's empire. Now, Kapo, clear things for us. What do we stand to gain if we help you fight this battle? <sighs> my father's cars, houses, bank accounts, shares worth over 10 million dollars. Kapo! Kapo! And if we stick together, out of the 10 million dollars, we gave you guys 30%. I'm very sure it's enough to get you guys off the streets for the rest of your life. Kapo! 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 Have fun now. What about Terra, our guy? Where is he now? Terra, don't die now. Oh, you boy, yeah, yeah. Put out for prison, go and juke an injection. Chai! Terra, come back like dog. My guy. Terra. For waiting now, for waiting. I know go die. I shall not die. We shall not die. I mean, let me go die. We know go die. Lie. For waiting. We all shall not die. If we stick together in this plan. We shall not die! Get unnecessary information. Spying on these two persons. You guys took the whole day. Capone, it has been years we left town and so many things have changed. Capone, we went down to some graves and we met some scorpions and crabs who gave us useful information. Fine. So, what What have you guys gathered? Where well, is his favorite spot? Well, it's not much of a club in time. He runs from his office to his father's house or his house. Grum style. Oh, 
I think you need some chopping to match this group style. Yeah, Capone. I think you need some ties, some suits, and a new wardrobe. Who needs it? You don't. You. Personal life. Any other information? The man in question lives with a pregnant girl. A wife, I suppose. Uh, mm. Good. Where's the latest club in town? Crystals. <laughs> Crystal. Yeah, Crystal. Dad. Let's go to the party. Whoa! You got something! Come on! You don't try at all. Very weak. You just left like that. No try. It's all right. Thanks. I know I've wronged you. I've hurt you. But I'm sorry, baby. I'm missing the only we not try. I don't feel like no try. No try at all. What you don't do? Eh? What you don't do this way? New York. New York? Very good yet. Where is my horse? What's even though? You can't go like that. 
You know, people tell me anything, you just disappear. Me see you, see you just go without a dress. Me see you find you find it there. No, let me that. Ah, I don't know. You even people get so much. I don't feel it like you don't get hurt. Like I said, Lumex. What's the detention now? It's a long story. I had no choice. Listen, Mary. If your son does not return my one thousand dollars, I will personally hand him over to the police. Honey, do you hear me? Yes, I do. Please, honey, be calm. I will. I will personally collect it from him. Please. I have said my mind. Please, be calm. Excuse me.
throw it into the river. I was on what's wanted. Hey, I remember now. I don't believe that time. But, uh, Barry, you know, say you are still most You have to leave this country. No. No, baby. I'm tired of running. Tired of the states. I'm here to settle. Settle for good. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good news anyway. But for Barry ends, no thanks. Farrow. How you won't take Doha now? You know that they will not allow you to build a life here. Leave that to me. Okay. Sorry, darling. You don't say it on tea, right? Yeah. You don't tea. <laughs> Come here, baby. No. No. Come here. No. worried about me. Anyway, you know I appreciate it. Seriously, listen. Jane, I am I'm such I'm in such a very good place right now. I'm telling you, like, Frank is the best lover anybody could have possibly asked for. Oh really? I'm telling you. He's just taking away all my sorrows. He strips me off my feet every oh. time with the sweetness. I do think I was going to throw all that away if not for you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> um, did Harry say anything? I mean, I don't know if I offended him in any way. No? I saw Harry today at the shopping mall. He was shopping with two of his friends. So I said hi to him and he ignored me. He just went blank and totally ignored me. It's not Harry. Okay? You said this morning, right? This morning? It's not Harry. Harry's at home. I actually left him at home. He hadn't even had his bath at the time I left. I'm saying I saw Harry at the shopping mall this morning. It's not possible, nah. I, I left Harry. He hasn't left since this morning. I just left him now. Not up to how many minutes ago before I got here. He was still lounging in his pajamas. So it's not as if. See, I, I don't want to argue. I know I saw Harry, but that's not. I just don't want to argue about that. Guess what? Mm. I am relocating to America. <gasps> oh my God! Yes, yes, oh, my God! Finally, finally! Yes, guys are crazy at that embassy. How does this good news? I'm not sure the fucking champagne, I'm not drinking most. Ah, I don't know, so I can be sure of it. I know, at least this child is going to be angry. I'm very excited. That's what's so <laughs> up. I'm so happy. Kapo, he has gone to the office. Ah, ah. <gasps> so just 
son. What is my fashionable brother wearing from the head to toe? He's wearing a black suit, a white shirt, black tie, and a black shirt to match. That's going to be my first golf. First. Get out. is actually living large, feasting on our father's wealth. Um, what happened? You forgot something? Evil, stay away from me! Just don't, don't touch me! Don't touch, don't touch me! You are evil! Why are you running away from me? Evil! left his office. Destination unknown. Keep alert. She's here. Good. Look, you're going to pass here, Nana. Ah, in a spirit. Ah, get up! No! 
Just shut up, ho. Oh. you know they call me that name, the Chris. What is your bone of contention? What the hell is your business? Is she your sister? Or the man in question? Is she your brother? Let me pass Just shut up. Let me pass in. I be be devil's advocate. I know you don't know what it means to be cheated on. My father has always hated me right from my early days. And my brother, the favored one, gave him everything he ever wanted and starved me with my desire. Made him famous among our family friends. But today, it's payback time. It's time for me to pay them back. Mm. Yeah, your story. No this. What's in? Buried. No this. Ferro. Fab. All join. You know, see, the toxic. Vengeance is for the Lord. Okay. Let's assume, say, you won't bring vengeance to the end, as you don't turn into a graveyard now. Eh? Eh, let me think this matter well now. Better we go get away if he enter your palais. Better money go come on. It seems you are deaf. Yeah. I said my father handed me over to the cops to be hanged. If not that fate was on my side, it would have been a dead man by now. <laughs> but the truth is, they have had a good bite of the family's worth. It's my time to march on it. Monja, I don't hear. No, it's in this thing, no. Okay, your palette. Boom. Your twin. Boom. How you can't say your brother wife will be absent? She's a novice. She knows nothing about me. She must have gotten information that I'm a dead man. Now lie. Now lie, you talk, oh. Why you not lie? Because from waiting you talk just now, eh? That woman, when she see you, she react funny. What did that call me? That means, say, she knows that you don't be a husband. See, man, I'll tell you something, oh. As you see me so, if I see you anywhere, I'm going to know you. You think I don't know the difference between Harry and Barry? <laughs> oh, you want fool? Man, I'll tell you, that woman know her husband. Every woman, she be woman, she go sabi her husband. Where, where? Lopez, let the sleeping dog lie. Just shut up, okay? Damn it, Lopez. I wonder what your business is in this matter, anyway. Swallow. Is it Chris? How do they follow up? I mean, you the fear face. You know the fear face. Oh, because you might bring me come here, since I are fear you. Since I are fear you. <laughs> Ma, I'll tell you something, no? I will be your mate. Not see me, because you see me in my ass, no, yeah. That means I'm going to see call your name. Very soon you will become damaged. See this one? Bush baby. Uh, you don't know what they do, Bush baby. Ali. They die anyhow. They like it. They don't also... you know fear your mates. I mean, they talk, they talk. You don't know your mates. You don't know what's up. Yeah. Amari, Pharaoh, whatever. Ma, I help you people. So I don't know what's my business. I'll tell you what's my business. I did my club. I did do my thing. I did get my better. I call you somebody bring me here. No, you just go carry me. That's my permission. I tell you, I won't call you. Now I know that you're missing your club.
club. Not to worry. You will soon be going back to your clubhouse. Things are be fool. Huh? Since you could just use me like that. Things are not guessing. I'm not fooling anybody. Hmm. When I'm done with you, I'll pay you off. Hmm. Did you hurt me? Oh, me? How? I saw evil. I felt evil. I perceived evil. Right there. In our living room. The kind of evil I felt the day Franklin was murdered. Sunshine. It must have been a bad dream. Bad dream? Was it a dream? No, it wasn't. It was real. It wasn't just that I felt it. That I could just feel it in my heart. I could feel it on my body.
Now what kind of secretary are you? Don't you have the courtesy of knocking me for badging in? I'm sorry, sir. Come in. Sir, you got me that you did shipping for paid in today. And your father says you should call me in town. Where is the money? What money, sir? You daft. The money they just paid in. They didn't pay in cash, sir. They paid into the company's account. Get out. Just get out! Yes, sir. Get out! Yes, sir. Once again, <laughs> what are you talking about once again? Okay, did you receive any call from the gas company? Yes, sir. I told her to you. You told me what, Rosie? Sir, sir, yes, a call. I'm depending on this money. Hey, good. You know, that's some good deals. Why are you staring at me as if you haven't heard me or something? I'm fine, sir. Sorry. Okay, fine. I'll uh, meet you in my office in 20 minutes, alright? Busy, very busy. Too busy to come and see how your father is faring? Exactly, Dad. Really busy. Hmm. Alcohol. Harry, you have already taken some spirits this early money. I thought you told my receptionist that he wanted to see me. I did not tell your receptionist. I told your confidential secretary. Whatever, Dad. So why did you send for me? Harry. You are not yourself this morning. I'm perfectly okay, Dad. Perfectly. One who is perfect does not take to alcohol early in the morning. Harry, is everything all right with Nelly? Turn off me, old man. It's none of your business. I'm a man. Harry, don't be rude to me. I'm not being rude to you, Dad. Listen. Since you can't tell me why you called me, I'll see you some other time. I've got better things to do. Excuse me. Harry. Oh, my Dad. Dad. Uh, what's wrong? You, you don't look happy. But I'm very sorry that uh, I've not been coming around. I've been very busy with work, 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 and work, especially with uh, my biggest contract. Yeah, they actually called this morning to say that they uh, finally paid him. <laughs> yes. Harry. Yes, sir. When I saw you in the state you were in this morning, my heart was broken. Harry. When you talk to me the way you did this morning, I knew that you were not with your right senses. Me? Uh, uh, how do you mean that? Harry, can I make an appeal? Go on. Under no circumstance should you resort to alcoholism in the morning till after work. Come on, Dad, you know me. I would do no such thing. But you did it, and you put me in a very sad mood. 
Me? How? When we are? I haven't seen what you're talking about. Harry, you were raking of alcohol this morning. No, Dad, it can't be me. It can't be. It's been two weeks since I stepped my feet into this house. You didn't see me this morning, Dad. Son, think. You were here at about 9 o'clock this morning. And if you cannot remember, it means you were suffering from a hangover. Dad, around the time you're talking about, uh, I was at the office. I was at the office. Ask Rosie. It's not me, Dad. I swear to you. Dad, what's going on? Telling me this has been going on for some time. Exactly. At first, it was my gate man. Then uh, I walked into my house and met Nelly, booted on the spot in so much shock as if she's been attacked by a ghost or something. And then my secretary, she was looking at me and I said, I lost my mind. The thing is, I just don't know what is happening. Like, you tell me those if those are just mere coincidences. Um, um, okay, you're telling me that this person, someone shows up in those various places before you. It's not someone. It's not someone. It's a total photocopy of myself. This is fierce. It's either this person is wearing a box of. Or what? Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. The thing is, what is it that he's trying to achieve by arising my family? Harry, thank you. This person is not just wearing a mask. I you think of what I'm thinking? You mean it could be a come of it, Bill? You know his body was not found. You know that. Yes, I. I know. Are you thinking what I am thinking? Thank Barry. Yes. Could that be an apparition of my son? As far as I know, it wasn't Harry that spoke to me in the morning. It wasn't Harry, my son, that walked out on me. What I saw this morning was an attribute of Barry, not Harry.
Hello? Eh? I've been mean, trying people since now. Eh? No, 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 no. I don't guess. No problem. Eh? Eh? You can see one of my friends like that. One yellow fine boy like that. We don't. We just go downstairs. Eh? eh that is it. Hmm. We take our room key out by mistake. Eh? I bet try. The extra key. I beg. Thank you. God, God bless you. No, no, no. <laughs> My sister, I like you. I'm going to see you soon. Eh? Okay, bye bye. Favorite line, right? Whore. That's what you call everyone. Pharaoh. Damn you, Pharaoh. Damn you. Don't come close to me. I will destroy you. You are close to me. Oops. <laughs> she calls me by my name. It's pretty good. But you know what? I do recognize you. You are Harry's wife. The girl from Uni Days, remember? <laughs> oh. Please come inside. Do have a seat. What? 
Well, my secretary just told me that you have some important information you would like to pass over to me. What is it? Who are you, by the way? What? Yes. Ghost. Ghost. Hey. Who I be? No matter at all. Leave down. So, how may I be of help to you? I believe matter. No be how you will take help me. Now how me will take help you. You be Mr. Harry Johnson. No be so. Yes? Seriously, I really don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you be Mr. Harry Johnson. Yes? You and your wife, they stay for number 55, Lincoln Avenue. Even I say your wife get belly. How many strange things don't they happen for in our life? How did you get to know that? Mm. How I take me, no more matter. See, the matter for Brown, you see. Your house, they on fire. See the matter where I want you. Hmm? It concerns your papa, your wife, you yourself. And this business, as you see, I'm so everything will just crumble. If you don't do something sharp, sharp. And hell. What's me? My own matter for the matter. We say, if you don't give me what I want, hmm? I don't go. What's right now? Hmm? Money for hand. Back for prompt. Yo, you want me to pay you some money? To that pay. is it. Hey! Let's <laughs> make on this slow. Yes, that's it. I need information. Hmm? Better information if you save your life. Fine, so how much are we talking about? 1.5 million. What? You want me to give you 1.5 million naira just for a piece of information? Eh, uh, no, this. Hey, 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 hey. Hold, hold on. The fact remains that I do want to hear the, the, the information you have from me, but 1.5 million naira is so much. Okay, let me give you 1, one million. That's it, please. Oh, 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 fine, fine. No, they hold me! It's time for the bar, please. Open up. Listen, I'm a businessman. I'm a very honest person. Okay? I won't give you a check that will bounce. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. You get to me, but I love you so. Yes. Mm hmm. That receipt. Marry the town. Marry the town. go everywhere as Harry. They wear everything you wear. In fact, today, don't be this horrible brown shirt and pink that you wear. Now, what's about you wear again? That's it. That's right. You get people where they're giving you information. Everything, everywhere they go. Everywhere they enter into the follow. You see all those uh, strange, strange things where they have for your place? <laughs> How about you? How about you? They enter everybody. They enter them small, 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 small. You don't know what's in the apple. You don't know what's in the slow. See, eh? Now I'll tell you something. In fact, right now as we they talk, we see the there outside your gates. They watch you. And they watch your house. Your papa house. Everywhere. Spies, they will. What? Hmm. You don't tell where this is not the apple or small. You don't slow. Right now, why are they your house with your wife? What, what are you talking about? Listen, are you sure about what you're saying? That's it, please. One step closer, I will kill you! I will not! Dad, yes, Dad, Dad, listen, a lady just walked into my office. She said that Barry is in town. 
Yes, I can't even go outside my office. He told me that uh, he Barry had posted spies all over the place. My office, your house, my house, and everywhere. Yes, Dad, as a matter of fact, she, she, she just told me that Barry wears it. the identical clothes I'm wearing right now. Listen, Dad, what I want you to do is to call the police, okay? Just call the police for me so they can come over here and, and, and see what they can do. I can't leave my office. Okay, please. Okay, Dad. Thanks. Barry, not again. You will not get away with it this time. Hello? Is that the police headquarters? doing this why are you so wicked wicked yes if there is anyone who is wicked here then his father your father who denied me of my rights was the first son this is our father you talking about here it's not my father it's our father he stopped being my father the day he handed me over to the Please. Why are you so obvious? You killed mother. Shut up! What's the cut of your tongue? And make sure you swallow it. You know what? You're not gonna get away with this. You are not, you're not gonna get away with this, Barry. <laughs> now let's see who dies this time. We are not supposed to be doing this. We are brothers. You're not my brother! You 
Which one of them is Barry? Barry is the bandit here. Yeah. Then who among the two is Harry? Sir, so we can't stay here all day. Let's get them arrested and detain till the main bandit is identified. Oh God! Officer, why? Uh, but you have to believe me. I'm Harry. Officer, Governor. Why? To believe me, I'm Harry. Dad, believe me. Oh God! Officer, why? Move it, I say move. Move it, at least. Preserve her from our dark cloud. I'm begging you, Lord. She's all that I've got. I can't live without her. Please, this is my prayer to you. Please, Father. It's fine, it's fine. My sister. We'll be coming to see you, okay? It's fine. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Mrs. Johnson, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. God is my strength. We are actually sorry for what happened. I and some of my men came to see you at the hospital, but you were still unconscious. That was very thoughtful of you, sir. Where is my husband? Uh, I'm sorry we had to detain him alongside his brother. What? 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 Why? What, what did he do? That's very unlawful. Light and darkness have nothing in common. I know, but it's as a result of our inability to identify who is who among them. We have tried all we could, but to no avail. Sir, even you, you can't tell who is who amongst your sons. I couldn't. You see, 
even when they were younger. The easiest forms of identification was by their act of conduct. Harry was identified by his uh, calmness, soft-spoken nature, his gentle strides, his dedication to his studies, and also his absolute humility. While Barry was identified by his uh, incessant uh, mischief, scattering the house, his carefulness to his duties and his studies, also his stubborn nature. The only person who was able to identify them, even when they were asleep, was their mother. And today, she's no more. You see, Mrs. Nelly Johnson, that has been the problem. Problem of identification of the bandit. Your husband's secretary, the best friend, and a lot of them have been invited for this purpose. And none has been able to identify who is Harry or who is Barry. I will identify my husband. Are you sure? Even with my eyes closed. I know the man whom I married. I will identify my husband. Okay, um... Hold on a minute. I will send for them, both of them to come. I mean, they... The criminals, all right? My husband is not a criminal. Whatever. So, Mrs. Johnson, the ball is in your court. Identify your husband. Sergeant, release Mr. Harry and take the bandit away. Dad, don't let him. Shh, Dad, I'm your son. Shh, don't make any noise here. Sir, from our record of event, Mr. Barry Johnson here has a lot of knots to crack with the law. Two murder cases, four robbery cases, three rape cases and so many other cases of physical assault all filed up against him. He's my son. What an outlaw. He has caused me so much pains. And as such, the law will take his course. Officer, take him away. You change my style. I don't stop with that. I can't be a trace, man. Don't take me away. Don't take me away. I look behind me, I see danger. danger. I feel in my heart. Yeah. I am going and it's coming. How can I say? Am I dreaming in my sleep and this cannot be me? 
Oh, já faz.